Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. I hope everyone's having a great day today. Uh, Maria and I, we've been working here in the kitchen. Uh, she just got through cooking a cake. This is a sugar-free devil's food cake and she's going to be finishing up this afternoon. So while she's waiting on it to cool, I'm going to make us a cabbage casserole. Uh, this is a real popular recipe. I'm going to be doing one thing different to it. Uh, besides making the cabbage casserole just like you always do, I'm going to be adding one pound of uh, sausage to the recipe. So it'll be slightly different, but it's going to be a very good recipe. Hope you enjoy it. First thing I got to do is get this cabbage uh, chopped up here. This is just a small cabbage. After I get it chopped up, I'll get the uh, sausage in the frying pan and go ahead and get it browned. So let me get started chopping this up and we'll get going. I've already washed this cabbage before we got started. You just want to chop it up in small pieces that you can uh, chew it and eat it. It don't have to be real tiny. Okay, that should be chopped up real good and I'm going to be adding one onion to it and I'm going to be using a small sweet onion uh, this is a Vidae onion if you've got one use that if not just use whatever you got and I'm going to chop it up not too small pieces about like that use these by day onions they don't bother your eyes at all but they do give it a good taste to it so if you can get one use a by day onion if not just use whatever type of onion you've got that you can add to it okay I'm gonna be using uh, it's eight tablespoons of uh, butter which is one stick of butter just go ahead and drop it right in there I'm gonna put this on my eye over here and let it start warming up and probably gonna let this cook for somewhere in the neighborhood of about 10 minutes and I'll be constantly steering it I want this to uh, just to start to saute and get soft before we put it in the casserole okay we got this okay let me go ahead and get my sausage cut open here and I'll get started browning it while the cabbage is heating up And I always love cooking fresh sausage. I just love the way it smells. Okay, let me get my hands washed right quick and I'll be right back. Okay, on the cabbage here, just want to keep it stirred and let that butter melt down in there and let it uh, just saute slowly until it gets a little bit soft. I'll get this sausage brown and then I will drain off the extra grease because we don't want it to be too greasy. It'll take a few minutes for that to get started. Mm, this cabbage is really smelling good while it's starting to soften up. Okay, 
just imagine how good it's going to be. I think I'll put just a little bit of salt and pepper in here too right now. Not very much, but I'll put a little salt and pepper on it. Gotta have some seasonings. Marie, how's your cake looking? Is it almost done? Yeah, it's cooling pretty good over there. That's gonna be a good dessert tonight to go with this cabbage casserole. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, the cabbage is really starting to look good now. Let me steer this sausage a little bit. This is some really good sausage. Uh, it, to be honest with you, it looks like it don't hardly have any grease in it at all. It's really cooking up nice. I'm sort of leaving this sausage in bigger pieces so it won't be completely crumbled up. And I think this is going to really taste good when it's done. Go back and forth here until they get them both done. They'll probably get done about the same time. You could probably put hamburger meat in that, and also you might could put uh, corned beef in it. You can. You could put corned beef or hamburger meat. Either one would work great. Mm -hmm. uh, we just happen to have some sausage in the freezer that we've been. Uh, we had prepped up ahead and uh, so we're going to use sausage and ours today. Yeah. But yes, I know a lot of people that puts hamburger meat in it and I hadn't thought about uh, corned beef, but that would be great too. Mm -hmm. Especially if you've been growing cabbage in your garden and you've got plenty of cabbage, won't know how to cook it up. This is a great little casserole that you can make. Now this cabbage came from a store because I I don't grow cabbage here in my garden. Okay, the sausage uh, is completely done here. And I don't think there's probably about a teaspoon of grease is all there is in this pan. Just a little bit of grease. So uh, let me let this cool off a minute and I'll drain that grease off. Like I said, the sausage is ready. Let me finish the cabbage up. Okay, this cabbage is done now, so let me turn my camera around here and I'll start building the casserole. Okay, I'm going to get ready to start my casserole assembly now. First thing I'm going to do is spray this pan lightly, just so nothing will stick. And my cabbage is done, so let me put the cabbage in there. That cabbage really looks good. I think, I think it's going to hold it off, so I'm going to go ahead and put it all in there. Okay. That's most of it. Maybe one little piece that fell out there. Okay. Just basically smooth this out a little bit. Make sure I don't have any edges sticking up real high. Okay, next I'm going to take and put my sausage on top of this. And I'm just going to sprinkle it out across here evenly as I can. And 
if you can see that there in the bottom of the pan, there was only just a maybe a tablespoonful of grease that come out of this sausage. Not very much at all. Okay, set this aside. Okay, I'm gonna take next, and I'm, let me move this out of the way just for a second here. And I'm gonna put in some, I'm gonna mix up some mayonnaise. This is about a third of a cup of mayonnaise. And uh, to me, you know, I very seldom do the measuring, so I just put that much in. That looks like a third of a cup to me. And then I'll be putting in one can of cream of chicken soup. even layer on here as best as I can. This is looking good. Okay, next step, uh, let me get my crackers over here. Set this over here just for a second. We're gonna take a, a whole sleeve of uh, Ritz crackers and I'm just gonna crumble them up and put them in this bowl here. I don't know if my overhead camera can see it in this bowl, but hopefully it can. Okay, there's my rich crackers. There's a couple of them that didn't crumble up good, so let me just do them by hand here right quick. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna mix in with this. I'm gonna put in a cup of cheese. And I'm also going to be putting about three tablespoons full of butter. Let me get a fork to seal this up with. Okay, so we need about a cup of cheese. Okay, that looks like about a cup of cheese to me. I'm going to go ahead and toss this a little bit first. I hope the overhead camera is picking that up so that you can see that. Okay, next, I'm going to pour this butter into it. I've already got this butter melted. This is about three tablespoons full of butter. I will put the recipe in the description below so that you can uh, write it down and try it. I've already got my oven preheating over here to 350. Marie, you need to come look at this and see if it looks good enough for me before I start putting it on. I have confidence in you. <laughs> well, thanks, Marie. Marie trains me how to cook, and uh, she's been doing this for about five years now. And when I want to cook something, if I don't know how to do it, she'll tell me what to do and how to do it. So I appreciate her help. Okay, that looks good. Let's see how this is going to work now. If you can see that, let me pull this back over here right in the middle where the camera is. And I'm just going to sprinkle this on all across the top. This is going to make it have a real good crunchy crust to the top of the uh, camera. Okay, 
Tessera. Make sure I get some down toward the corners and the edges. When you're putting this together, make sure you don't have any pieces of a cabbage sticking up on the outside. Uh, if you can help it. I've got, I see two pieces sticking up and I'll try to push them down before I actually put it in the oven to cook it. Okay, that's all my crust. You can see it right there. I got a little piece of cabbage right there. So I'll just push that down in there good and deep and there's one right here. I'll push it down in there deep as I can. Okay, there it is. It's ready to go in the oven. I'll be cooking this in the oven on 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And as soon as it gets done, we'll be back with you. Okay, let me show you a close-up of how the cabbage casserole looks before we put it in the oven. Okay, my cabbage casserole is done. Uh, let me go ahead and get it out of the oven. It's been cooking for exactly 30 minutes. Oh, it sure does look good. Oh, that, that looks great, Marie. Mm, I'm loving how it smells. The cheese is melted all around that crust and just made a beautiful crust. That really looks nice, Marie. Okay, it's going to be very hot, but let me go ahead. I'm going to get a serving out just to show you how it looks. Uh, we're going to be having this for supper tonight, but right now I'm just going to get one serving out. I like the way that crust sounds. Mm. A little messy, I flipped it upside down. Okay, my first piece, I let it turn upside down on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get another piece here and see how it looks. Well, it may be hard to get out and make it look real pretty. There we go. That looks a lot better. Okay, if you can see that, that's how it looks. Let me, I'm gonna get a bite of it to test it right quick, Marie. I see the steam coming off of it. I know it, it may be too hot for me to test it, but I'm gonna try it anyway, wish me luck. Mm. It's hot, but it is very good. I love it with sausage in it. If you want to try the cabbage casserole, try putting sausage in it. You will love it like that. Okay, this is really good. I'm going to go ahead and get another bite right now. Mmm. You're gonna love this, Marie. With that sausage in there, it really makes it great. Okay, Marie and I are getting ready. She's gonna finish this cake up here in a little while. So tonight we're gonna to be having cabbage casserole with sausage, and we're gonna have a piece of that uh, sugar-free cake that she's cooking. Hope you enjoy this video. Be sure and give us a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already subscribed. Everyone have a great day and we'll see you on our next video. Okay, we let the casserole cool down for about an hour before we cut another piece out. And by letting it cool down, it does the crust stays together better and it'll come out of your pan a whole lot better. And we did drain just a little bit of the excess water off of it. 
uh, when you cook a cabbage casserole, it will generate a little extra water. But this is how it looks after it's cooled down. It looks real good and it tasted excellent. We really enjoyed this meal. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here